this is where the dirty pipe go, go. They go tip up in soapy warm water. Um, and they, they soak in there for a little while and this you kind of manually lift it up and you can kind of see the pipettes are full of water, they're draining. You can see the water coming out here, it drains in the soapy water. So you're running it through. So do it like six times or so. Just put it up and drain it out. Yep, and when it's all good, you can put it in the pipette cleaner. So this guy right here, I'm gonna connect this to the sink. And that's where water comes in. So water will come in to this branch, this, this leg right here. It'll come in and it'll come out of the top and it'll submerge the pipettes in water. And once it's submerged, it'll reach a point where it says, okay, you know, we submerge, it'll break, and then it'll drain. And it'll drain out of this big guy right here. And you want to make sure this guy is either um, at, a, at a slight downward slope. If you have it up like this, when we have a uh, really low flow, as we will later when we have uh, um, the millicue water, uh, it's not going to really work that well. It's not going to break and let it drain. So you want to make sure it's at an angle. I might even want to uh, lift this up and have it at a downward angle. So if I put it um, up here, it might actually be a little bit better. I don't really want it to be leaking too much. So I just tightened it a little bit. It should be pretty good. Um, it fits pretty well. It's pretty snug. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn on warm water. Water level's getting pretty high. Oh, and here we go. It is starting to come out. This guy right here. The flow rate I had that was a little bit too low, so it's running pretty, but as you can see, it's, it's draining pretty quickly now. I'm slightly higher flow rate um, for fulfilling it. But yeah, it's draining really quickly right out here. Yeah, but you can see that it's now going to start filling up again. So it stopped coming out of here, and now it's going to slowly start filling up again. I'm going to show you how we set up our molecule water right here. Where we get our molecule water from. Um, you, I mean, obviously, you need to put pressure on it. So it's not that different for most, you know, if you have uh, DI water, um, you know, most people you need to put pressure to the handle because it won't just, you can't just leave it on because it is, um, you know, it takes work to get it to be a little bit cleaner than faucet water. Um, so we actually don't want to rinse it as many times. So you can rinse this as many times as you want with the sink water, um, but from this, you want to be maybe maybe three or four times, not a whole lot. You don't want to be wasting this water too much. Um, so what I'm going to do, as it turns out, this guy fits pretty snugly to this. So if I just put it on like that, put it on there pretty snug, and just apply pressure to it, um, the same thing's gonna happen, right? We're gonna be rinsing it through. So obviously there's a little bit of the sink water, um, so we'll wanna, it'll be a little bit diluting it. So I'm gonna disconnect it for this purposes, I'm showing you how to rinse it with the two different waters. I'll show you in our lab when we turn off the water. Let's turn it off. You can see that a little bit was left in there, but it's not turning on anymore. So we don't accidentally have happen if this was clamped down for some reason or something were to something were to burst or something were to happen uh, we wouldn't be wasting a bunch of millicute water